Hello! 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 I'm John Proxy, welcome to the Proximity and welcome to live! I'm having... I'm having an adventure. What sort of adventure am I having? I'm having... Oh, no, hang on. Save, I guess. Save my game. And then I can say... I'm having... A 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim Adventure! And oh my word! Shit has gone down! Uh, we've learned... Uh, home Truths! From uh, the story of Natsuno, who is now locked... No, that's not Natsuno. You're Natsuno, and who's now locked, because I've done 62% of a story. We need to get it to 30%, which we're not going to be able to do in this episode. However, I think since every single story seems to be 1%, uh, hang on. I don't even know how your story is going to continue. Um, okay, we have two stories here. I think. Let's go for some Juro Karabe. He's on 44% as well. This should be quite important. I've So, we have two end of scenes, right? No, we have three. The freeloaders. Juro Karabe's living situation with Megumi Yakushiji is discovered by Natsuno Minami, who ends up having to accept her request of taking another lodger. So, as we saw in the other storyline, Na uh, Natsuno brought along a time travel Ler, time traveler, that's what we normally say, and said, you go and live in his house, live in his house. So we've seen the other side of that scene. A relentless nightmare as Jiro Karabe was hanging out at Chu Amaguchi's house with Kyuta Shiba. He didn't want to go home, fearing that his nightmare of killing Megumi Yakushiji would end up happening in real life. So this is when the Terminator storyline was introduced, where we got to see an adult version of him, where he was a weird murder man, like he might have been 426. Um... And the good thing about this scene here, hang on, oh yeah, oh no, it's this one, yeah, so daily life is just like, uh, are these weird dead ends that don't actually mean anything, but well, yeah, what's good about this scene here is when you play it back, Shuji Amaguchi is like, nah, don't want to go out, because like he suddenly knows like that's going to happen, because I think at the end of that you explain to him, oh, I have these really weird dreams, and he's like, huh? Don't want to hang out with you anymore. This one... This one, it seems like this has been forgotten again. Because... We're, we're with Ayori Fuyusaka. And she's like, yeah, you told me about all the stuff. Ah, oh, the shit was going down. It was weird. You remember, right? No, no, I don't remember. Was that from a film? So we're going to... We're going to play again. With that in mind. My heart! Ah... So we have that shootout dream. Whoa, Bad but... news, Juro. Let me guess. Amiguchi kun's not there. I think he's at the break it's area. Thanks for making my life easier, man. Cool. Let's grab our stuff and head over. What I do like is that it's playing the same scene, but it's abbreviating it now. Because we know the information. The game is not interested in a uh, Uh, we have to get rid of Sheba still. That's interesting. But the game is not interested in, uh, you know, wasting my time. I mean, I'm gonna waste time regardless. Oh, I'm sinking on the thing. But, like, I can shift over there. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Um. So oh, I... yeah, almost forgot. Who are you? I never oh. finished reading this. Stack of papers. papers. Miss Morimura forgot them again. Keeps forgetting them. Okay, so let's... That dream was awful. I was going around killing students. I shot so many. Like Fuyusaka-san. And Yakushiji. Yeah, I think Fuyusaka's died a couple times now. Minami-san suddenly showed up at my house. And then brought over Miura-kun out of nowhere. 
As if I didn't have enough problems with Yakushiji around. I always dreamed of living on my own. Can we go home together? So much for that. I have plans. In my dream, a woman and I went back in time to prevent the extinction of humanity. To do that, we had to blow up some sort of research facility. And, well, we did it. And if that weren't enough, we shot the researchers dead. That's the plot of Terminator the as well. I was with in that dream looked eerily similar to Fuyasaka-san. I gotta get going. I could head out too. In that movie, an alien's UFO breaks down, so he runs away to take refuge on Earth. There's a famous scene where he teleports onto a bridge. See that? I don't get that reference. Uh. Oh, I need my bag. Stack of papers. Sorry, Shiba Kun. I have to drop off these papers. Should have told me sooner. Well, just meet me at the front gate when you're done. In the meantime, I'll go hunt down Amiguchi. Hmm. See, I had somebody going to hunt down Amiguchi has different connotations to it now. Okay. I have successfully got rid of Shiba. Oh, hang on. We, we should go to the nurse's office still, then. There's still content there. What's up with the Yakisoba pond lately? They're always sold out. In fact, I probably have to. But don't, don't do daily life. Guess Miss Morimura's not here. I'm going to save my game because I might do this wrong. Since she's not around, I'll just leave the surveys on her desk. I'm sure she'll see them when she gets back. Did Shinonome Senpai collapse again? I, I should let her rest. I have become stool. <sighs> I should let her rest, he says very loudly in front of her. I'm so glad you're safe. I heard terrible things. So, I thought... Not this again. <sighs> Please, stop making fun of me. That's not my name. If you aren't Juro Izumi, then who are you? My name is Kurabe. Juro Kurabe. We already talked about this the other day. Uh, is anyone else going to Kurabe rate your story? Kurabe. Right. How are your injuries? I heard you were in a pretty bad car accident. Take it easy, okay? Stack papers. Miss Morimura, last time I was here, I saw those creepy documents about me. Released in 1977, this was the first in a hit series from the United States. It's a dramatic sci -fi. Its popularity holds strong no matter... That's Star Wars. Amiguchi-kun's not the most responsible guy. He's smart, athletic, and popular with the ladies. On top of that, his family is rich. He's got all the latest video game consoles in his room. That movie's a hidden gem. It's tough to get a hold of these days. Come to think of it, I saw Shiba Kun in a dream the other day. A pretty creepy one. Something about an android. Whoa, you're still here? Shiba Kun, what's up? I couldn't find Amiguchi anywhere, so 
I thought I'd come looking for you. So Shiba definitely knows more than he's letting on as well. Because that was the first scene we had. Where Shiba was like, oh, you're not supposed to know this. Are you alright? No, I'm not. And neither are you. Well, guess that's that. Let's call it a day and go home. Well, guess let's call it a day. Yeah, I think I accidentally called it a day and went home. And uh, didn't get the right thing. Oh, yeah. Well, let's call it a day. Stop making those noises. Yes, those noises. You don't need to keep doing that. Miss Mori, last time I was. Hmm. Well, let's call it a day. Not getting away from me tomorrow. Okay, so yeah, that's that's the same ending. Annoying. Okay. I should use the other. Don't want to go to the nurse's office. What's up with the yakisoba pond lately? They're always sold out. I heard there's a guy who buys for tonight. You're fi <laughs> If people find, we'll be expelled. Hmm, well, I. Sorry, it's, it's our secret. I know. <sighs> Jeez, it feels awkward going home like this. I'm gonna be restless all night. We're just teenagers. We can't be living together already. What is she thinking? Just showing up at my place and treating me like this? No, no, ah, no, no. Because that's just... No, that's fine. Okay, that's new? That's strange. The front door was unlocked. Shut the front door. Hang on. Oh, so this is different from freeloaders. Okay, fair enough. I hope there wasn't a break in. Huh? You're. You're from my school, right? I think we're in the same. <gasps> it's been 40 years. I've missed your touch. No, we're, we're both teenagers. Hold on, back up. What are you doing in my house? I'll be renting a room starting today. My name is Megumi Yakushiji. Hello there. You're joking, right? I spoke with your landlord, Tamao Karabe. She gave me this rental agreement. My grandma? I've already moved in my furniture. Jeez. I mean, yeah, there was an empty room. And she said she was planning to rent it out, but... I didn't expect it to be a girl from school. <sighs> what were you thinking, Grandma? <sighs> There's no way. 
I can't do this. Grandma's going to be out this whole month. She's visiting relatives back in Shimane. That means it's just the two of us here. If the school finds out, we're going to be expelled. Well, that wouldn't be so bad. What? Anyway, I need to get started on dinner. As thanks for letting me stay with you, I'll be taking care of your meals. I hope you like it. Okay, I don't understand hey, wait. how that's even allowed, just like, just, just renting out students. Why would that get them expelled? Is this is a Japanese thing. Huh? Miss Morimura. What's the matter? You seem deeply concerned. Stack of papers. You forgot these again. Oh my. Sorry for the trouble. I do appreciate it. Thank you, Kurabe-kun. I hate your design so oh, much. That saves me a trip. Now, I wonder if Shiba-kun was able to find Amiguchi-kun. Shut the front gate. Oh, the stairs. No, no. So, what do you plan to do? Yakushiji. I've gotten permission from Morimura. I see. Even if that's the case, it isn't looking good. There's an issue with Juro's condition. We can't let it continue as is. You still plan on using him, don't you? Where's your foot standing? I won't let you. Please, let him be free of the Sentinel. As of now, he's the only one who can fight. I can't promise anything. I recognize the position you're in. You harbor feelings for him, correct? But you must understand that he is no longer the Izumi you knew. Yeah, there's a bunch of people in love with a bunch of other people, and it's all like love triangles, because nobody remembers the half of the love triangles. Izumi. He is Juro Karabe. You would do well to consider him an entirely different person. The new personality is not stable. Don't disregard the danger this may put you in. Juro will recover. I'll make sure of it. Even if we erase the personality of Juro Kurabe... What? It would be a futile effort, as I've already explained. Izumi's memory is gone. There is nothing left. You're a difficult one. <laughs> this is for your own good. Just let me be. I cannot. You must return to Shikishima. And what if I say no? You're a difficult one. <laughs> this is for your own good. Right, they're gonna repeat that, aren't they? Let's have a but think. Izumi, I cannot. Haven't I heard that name before? You must. I think Shinonome Senpai called me that. Oh, and, what and I, I saw it at the nurse's office. Oh, he's only just put those two together. Fine. There was a document labeled a Juro one. Izumi. This is for your own good. Get that movie. I cannot. <sighs> Karabe. What? You should stop having these secret meetings out in the Jira. open. How long have you been listening? I just got here. <laughs> what was that about? <laughs> Who is Izumi? Uh, I'll cook 
one of your favorite meals tonight. So please, come right home, okay? No eating out. <sighs> I'm a different person? Juro... Izumi? <laughs> That's ridiculous. And yet... Why do I have this sinking feeling? It's like... The one Yakushiji has feelings for isn't me. It's... Izumi. To be continued! Right. We're gonna... Oh, we're 50% clear as well, lovely. Uh, let's have a look at the event... No, not the event! Mystery files. I'm gonna see what went shiny. Nothing went shiny. Okay, fair enough. Twenty-eight percent. Let's make it twenty-nine. Sure. We're going back into the nurse's office. Now we know that that name. Bad news. Thanks. Cool. Stack papers. Paper. I never finished reading this. <laughs> Don't just leave. Yeah, there's a fast forward button. I forget about that. Izumi, haven't I heard that name before? I think Shinonome Senpai. Oh, there. Okay. Since she's... Huh. They're gone. Last time, she had documents on Juro Izumi here. Okay, I accidentally turned the auto off. I guess she put them away. Shinonome... Senpai, my name is Kurabe. Juro Kurabe. Oh, that's how I turn it on now. That's right. Uh. Well, let me fast forward this bit. So, you know him too? Juro Izumi? Uh. Juro Izumi is you. But right now. You've been given a different personality. Given? By who? The two of us lost our memories after a certain incident. We suffered serious mental trauma. Especially you. I heard that you had it worst of all. But I'm not so well off either. My memories keep disappearing. I'm not sure if I'll even remember this conversation. What was this incident? It happened in the future. Of course it did. But you received medical treatment here. Back in the past. The future? No way. It's true. And you're Juro Izumi. So, let me get this straight. Juro Izumi came from the future. He lost his memories due to some incident. And the damage was so bad, he needed a whole new personality. That's how he became... me. Juro Kurabe. It's so hard to believe. But if it's true, that would explain why I kept feeling like something was off. This is crazy. 
Not just me. Honestly, you. it's really hard for me to believe. I don't blame you. This is honestly, it's. I don't blame. So let me get this. He lost it, and the damage was. That's how he became. It's so hard to believe. But if it's true, that would explain why I kept feeling like something was off. Okay, I shouldn't have skipped all of that. Sorry. So let me get this straight. Juro Izumi came from the future. He lost his memories due to some incident. And the damage was so bad, that's how it's... But if it's true, that would exp... Okay, no. This is cur... On... I don't... Whoa, you're still here? Shiba-kun, what's up? I couldn't find Amiguchi anywhere, so... I thought I'd come looking for you. Okay. So I now have to leave. Yeah, like because then there is nowhere for this to go. I've I've got the Izumi key. Freaking Amiguchi! You're not getting away from me tomorrow. But I've got I've got the actual scene. Like, I've, I've got a new orange scene. Ah, it's locked. Uh, so I need nine people at 30% over. Oh, he's been going to be locked for a while. Okay. Um, uh, right. That's, uh, I'm counting that as an episode. Thank you.